Greetings, I'm Richard Patterson, the director of the Omni Foundation for the Performing Arts. And we're here with Connor Padmanabhan, uh, who will open our concert uh, live from St. Mark's on March 6th at 7.30 PM. And uh, it is the 40th anniversary season for for the Omni Foundation. And you can get all the information about the concert, how to view it for free from our website, which is omniconcerts.com. And just look for the Live from St. Mark's series. Good morning, Connor. Good morning. Uh, I, how are I you? Just, I'm really well. How are you? I'm great. Good. Great. Hey, I just want to thank you uh, so much for for joining me this morning and uh, for participating in, in this concert, which uh, you'll be playing along with uh, T.Y. Shang, the great Chinese guitarist, and uh, Strauss Shi, wonderful violinist. Um, you'll be opening for them. Um, what pieces will you be playing? Uh, so the pieces I played were, oh, the pieces I'll be playing are the, uh, uh, the Zhig from Box 6 Cello Suite, uh, BWV 1012, and also the Fantasy Hongwaz by uh, Johann Kaspar Mertz. Oh, wow. Uh, are those, why did you pick those pieces? Uh, well, the Fantasy Hongwaz is actually one of my, my favorite pieces I think I've played um, throughout my 11 years playing the, the classical guitar. Oh. It's, uh, it's a piece that really um has a lot of power to it and um it's it's just one of those pieces that's like really fun to play show um, piece. yes it's a show piece and like it also it uh it like makes me feel rewarded because i just love playing it oh, great. Uh, and then the g is like a, a little short movement the last movement from the 10 12 so it's just a nice short um uh, little dance and this is also a piece that i think is just really fun to play uh, and I, I really enjoy playing it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's nice. How uh, do you have a large repertoire? Uh, yeah, I play a very like wide range of, of pieces. I, I've played some Renaissance and then I play lots of Baroque, lots, uh, no, mostly Bach. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, I play a lot of contemporary music also. For example, Shard by Elliot Carter and uh, some of the Nocturnal by Benjamin Britten. Uh, my teacher and I really love working on uh, those types of pieces, which are like really abstract and require a lot of, a lot of like thought to be put into them. Uh -huh. Just um, for how, how do you study? Um, do, you, do you have lessons regularly or? Yeah, yeah. so uh, I go to the, San Francisco Conservatory Music Pre-College Division, where I uh, I study, have private lessons every week, every Saturday with my teacher, uh, Scott Camille. And uh, before COVID, we, all, we had uh, an in-person quartet every week too, which was really fun. You get to like really know the other three guys and, and just, um, you know, work on music together. And Scott was, was our coach for that too. But mm -hmm. now uh, we do everything over Zoom. So the lessons over Zoom, that's not that bad. But the, the um, quartet over Zoom can get a little challenging sometimes because you can't hear other people uh -huh. and you kind of lose some of that like ensemble factor in it, like the playing right. together part. Yeah. Um, did, did you, have you ever played for the Omni Foundation before? Did you play with the uh, quartet one time? No, I'm pretty sure that was my brother. Uh, oh, I, I don't, yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, my brother, uh, he's, I think he's played for the Omni Foundation before. Okay. So, uh, while, what guitar will you be using? Because I see you have two or three guitars in the background there. Oh, uh, yeah. So, these, I, I won't be using these for the performance <laughs> tonight. These are, uh, this is an electric guitar. Yeah, it's like a Squire Telecaster. I just broke one of the strings last night on accident. Uh, <laughs> and then that is uh, an acoustic, uh, like a steel string acoustic guitar. Uh, neither of these, nice. I, neither of these, I can really play classical music on. Sure. But, uh, 
but uh, what I'll be using tonight is this. Uh -huh. uh, it's a 20, 2012 Glen Cannon. Uh, Glen Cannon's the luthier up in Marin County. Uh -huh. And uh, I got this guitar off of Robert Miller, who's another guitarist in the, uh, in the South Bay. Uh -huh. And uh, well, I, the reason why I knew about Glen Cannon's was because my brother, he got um, uh, two or three years prior, he got uh, a Glen Cannon. I think he got his from Mark Teicholtz, who's also a really well-known guitarist too. Um, and, and I played it, of course, because I mean, it, the guitar's in the house, so I'm going to play it. And then I just, I really liked the, the warmth and, and the, the volume, especially uh -huh. that, that, that Glenn Cannons just make. And his isn't, um, a double top guitar, uh -huh. which means that, um, like there's two layers of wood on the top, uh, yeah. but his, his Glenn Cannons are actually known for uh, like producing double top like sounds, but without actually having a double top. So, but this thing, this guitar actually is a double top. So it's even like louder than. Oh, than it my is. Just, yeah, so it yeah. is a double top with cedar on the top and spruce underneath or. Uh, you're not sure. I actually don't know. I all <laughs> I know. I know. I'm pretty sure that back and sides are, are Indian rosewood. Or rosewood. Yeah. But yeah, that, yeah. if it is, well, what I was wondering is what year was that guitar made? Uh, this was made in 2012. It was actually oh. guitar number 66 that oh, he no. that he has ever made. I think my brother's was guitar number like uh, 90 because oh. although he got his before mine, I got mine um, off of another guitarist. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, beautiful instrument. Um, so uh, your you say your brother was a guitarist. Uh, are is your whole family involved with music? Uh, well, given that my brother and I were both like really big in guitar, it kind of had to be like a family, uh, like everyone had to be involved. Although, uh, so my brother and I are the ones on guitar. My mom is really good at violin. Um, uh -huh. And she's kind of been like, um, like, the mu like the musical force uh, behind like our... And she like sometimes gives us advice at home. She uh -huh. like, hears us playing. She's like, oh, wait, maybe you should, maybe, are you sure that's right? Um, and then my dad's just, he's um, been there this whole time. He's been extremely supportive. He, he, he comes to everything. And um, I, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for more, more supportive parents. Yeah. So <laughs> I know, hard. I know you're, you're graduating from high school uh, this year um, and you'll be going off to college, I think you said Bowdoin? Yeah, I'll, and, I'll be going to Bowdoin College in, in Maine. Yeah, I know they have a big music festival there, I think an annual summer festival, but will you be, uh, will you be continuing your, your musical studies? Uh, I haven't decided yet, mm -hmm. although I, uh, I do think that music uh, will be a part of my college experience. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I've already met the, or I've reached out to the guitar teacher there oh. and he said be, he'd be happy to set up lessons. And mm -hmm. although Bowdoin is a, it's a small liberal arts college mm -hmm. and it doesn't really have like that, that big of a music department. So right. like uh, there's not, not very much established already. Although um once I'm there, I can like find people to play in a quartet or it could even be other instruments. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. and now that everybody's familiar with Zoom, you can continue studying with just about, you know, with S Scott Camille or with anyone in the world, practically, um, yeah. which can be very inspiring. Um, so we want to wish you good luck in the future. And uh, can't wait for your performance. Uh, um, I know you're a phenomenal young artist, and we really appreciate your participation. And uh, check out Connor's performance uh, March 6th, 730 p.m. Um, go to omniconcerts.com. It's free, and uh, it's, it will be a great concert. So. We hope you can join us. Thank you very much, Connor. Thank you.